Yeah. Both of you, good start 2021 with a win against Salford City. Yeah, very good. Um, I thought we matched them well. Um, we followed on from the momentum we gained against Southend. I um, thought we played well. I thought we dominated the games in large parts. Um, I think we could have made it easier for ourselves second half. I think um, when you take the lead, you come out second half against the team in this league, they're going to be more aggressive. You're going to have to take spells um, of being under pressure from them, of being a bit deeper. And I think um, if we had had the opportunity to take some of the chances to, to get the second goal, I think that would have killed the game. But I thought we um, we dug deep as a team and defended well. Mm. Talk about defence. It's all new look back for against Southend. Same against Salford and a couple of clean sheets. Yeah, yeah, it's been nice. Um, back at left back. Um, the last two games, I thought, well, I thought we've looked good the last two games. I thought we've, um, we've imposed ourselves the way we want to play on teams, um, on both teams, a lot more. Um, and then I think we've been solid um, when we've had to and we've defended more as a, as a team rather than individuals, which is, I think, been the, the big change in the, in the last couple of games. Mm. We spoke a lot about squad depth this season. It's good to see Tunji come in. He's obviously had a, a month or so out of the side, but it's good to see him come in and looking quite assured in the middle. Yeah, without a doubt. I think um, Tunji's handled himself really well. Um, I think he worked hard when he was at the team and now that um, he's come back in the team, he's probably reaped the rewards um, of doing the hard work. I think... Um, with, with the season the way it is, we're all, always going to use um, the depth of the squad and all the individuals. And I think in different parts of the season, we, we will be relying on individuals more than others. Um, so I think it just is a signal for everyone that um, everyone has a part to play. Talking about you moving back to left back as well, it looked like a, a real battle for you on Saturday and one that you really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've said it many times. Um, I enjoy being on the pitch um, regardless of position. I was training goal today outside in the training ground, so I'm not sure if I'll give him a selection there day for the weekend. Um, but no, no, I just enjoy being on the pitch. Um, and yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Mm. And obviously we've seen this season how the how League 2 can quickly flip, heading to Carlisle, and, and they're going to be the league leaders this weekend. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. I think, um, like I said, the, the last two results we've gained some momentum. I think it's good to test ourselves against the the teams that are higher up in the table at the moment. So for sure, Saturday will be will be a tough test, but we'll be going there looking to impose ourselves and play play the type of game that we like. Mm. And Saturday will be the halfway mark of the season. If you look back and you know give yourself a, a school report on how it's all gone so far as a, as a team, how have we done? Um, I think we've set ourselves up well for the second half of the season um, in the position we are. I think we, we could have been in a better position. Um, Probably a few people kicking themselves. Well, I was kicking themselves, but however, I don't think you can you can look back um, on it with disappointment. I think we've set ourselves up for a good second half of the season to to really make sure that we can have an impressive season altogether. So I think you've got to look at the positives rather than the negatives. Mm. In terms of obviously that top end of the table, which is where we want to be, of the clubs we played so far, who, who are the ones you've probably been most impressed with? Um, I, I think as a in this in this league, if you um, have a way of playing and you you stick to that for the duration of the season, then you already set yourselves up for having a good season. Um, I think of the ones we've played so far, um, Forest Green have a very clear identity of how they like to play um, and stick to it. And I think that that will lead them to having a good season. Um, I think Cheltenham likewise. Um, so I think we we have a, an identity that we like. I think sometimes we've come off it, um, and that's the frustrating things. However, I think if we, we if we stick to that identity for for the duration of the second half season, then we stand ourselves in good stead. Obviously, you've worked closely with Ross Emerson in your time. It's pretty much a year to the day that he was made the permanent head coach. How, from a player's perspective, what kind of changes have you seen in that year since him becoming a head coach? Yeah, I think it's tough because I think it's two two very different roles. I think when you are an assistant, um, then then your role is to really support the the, the head coach or the manager or whatever it is. Um, it's to support them, and you probably spend a bit more time closer to the players, um, more involved in the session. Whereas you change your role to head coach, and you have people doing your role before. It's more of an overview and a leadership role. Um, and I think there, there has been a lot of change in the last year. I think 
as players, you look to improve every day. And I think it's the same whether you're assistant coach or head coach that you look to improve um, every day. And I think over the last year, we, we have improved greatly. And a new coaching setup as well. Obviously, Matt Harrell going to the fold, well, Danny Sanders come in. Um, how is it you know, being around that setup every day as well? Yeah, I think we have a, a really hungry set of staff um, that stand us in good stead, um, that are all looking to improve every day. I think that's the big thing. Um, it's not so robotic, the style um, of training. It's more improved. Um, they look to do new things. And I think that, that helps the players. It keeps them hungry, keeps them motivated and keeps them determined. And just finally, going to this game against Carlisle on Saturday, how big of a message would it send, maybe just internally in the squad, to go there and get a win and, and close that gap on the on the top of the teams? Yeah, I think, I think we just have to take each game at a time. I think um, getting a win, yeah, obviously, that's what we're going for. Um, I think regardless of the result, I think it's just about how we play in the game, trying to do the best we can. And I'm sure if we if we go there and dominate and impose our, our identity on the game, then we'll come back with a good result. Awesome. Thank you.